Hi friends, Ron with Lakeshore. Are you ready for bubbles? We have a special way to make ours. We're making a bubble cup. I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to make the bubble cup and the bubble mix. There are several steps to this process so your child can practice following instructions as they put it all together. Along the way, I'll add some science about bubbles and offer suggestions on how to modify the cup and the mix. Your child can then problem solve different ways to make bubbles. Here are some things you'll need before you get started. We'll need some liquid dish detergent. And we only need a little bit, so I put a little bit in a smaller container. Just a few drops of that we'll need. And then some water, half a cup of a small glass here, about a cup or so of water. And a place to mix it, which is going to be what we're going to use our paper plate for. It can also be styrofoam. For the bubble cup, I have a small paper cup. It can also be styrofoam or plastic. And a paper towel. Two-ply paper towel will be the best, but whatever you have and a rubber band and make sure that the rubber band is smaller than the top of the cup. We're also going to use a sharpened pencil and the sharpened pencil is going to be used to make a hole in the cup so grown-ups please help out with this and a straw. This is actually a half straw or a quarter straw and uh, this is an option so if you don't have this it's okay we can go without. First we'll make the bubble mix. We're gonna take a little bit of our liquid dish detergent and we're just gonna put a little bit in the middle of the paper plate, just about the size of a quarter or so. Just a few drops or the size of a quarter right there in the middle. And then we'll take our water and we will put in enough to fill the bottom of the plate. So we're not looking for a lot of water here, just enough to fill the bottom of the plate. And then we will take our finger and just kind of mix the water and the soap together. You want to make sure that the water is nice and mixed with that detergent. And that will be our simple mix for the bubble mix. Now let's make the bubble cup. We will take our cup and we need to put a hole at the bottom. So grown-ups, this is where you can help out. Just take the sharpened pencil and poke a hole in the middle from the bottom of the cup. Just, uh, force it through to make a nice clean hole at the bottom. Then we'll take the paper towel and we will cover the cup on top and then get the rubber band and put that on top of the paper towel so that it stays on the cup. Make sure that the paper towel is pulled through, all the edges are pulled through all the way around the cup. Great. Now. The bottom hole is where we're going to um, blow through to uh, make the bubbles. But you can have an option and actually put the straw there and blow through the straw. So just kind of put the straw in the hole you made and you can blow through that instead. But this is an option. So you can do it with the straw or without the straw. As you're using it, if you get a hole or a tear in the paper towel, you'll need to replace it because we don't want any air to escape out of there when you're making the bubbles. Also, you wanna make sure your rubber band is nice and tight uh, around the paper towel so it stays on the cup. And that's why you wanted it smaller than the top of the cup. And if you're using the straw option, you wanna make sure that the straw is snug in that hole so no air comes out of that hole. You want all the air to come out of the top where the paper towel is. Now let's prep our bubble cup. To do this, we take the bubble cup and we turn it upside down. And we want to dip it into the bubble mix. Just enough to make sure that the paper towel is saturated with that bubble mix. Because as we work the bubble cup, we're going to blow through the bottom to make the bubbles come out. Okay, let's make some bubbles. Oh, foam, foam bubbles. These bubbles are gonna look a little different because the holes that are in your paper towel are smaller than the wand. So the bubbles are gonna be really small and so small when they come together, they make like this foam. But there's so much you can do with foam bubbles. Can you see how tall they get? You know, if you can change your design, put the straw on the side and see, maybe let's see how tall the bubbles will get.
<laughs> and once you have all this foam, well, you can have even more fun. So grown-ups, find a place that your kids can get messy so they can take their foam bubbles and see if they can reshape them. What does that look like? That's right, a snowman. If you wanna make your bubbles last longer, consider making changes to your mix. And think of this, water has a high surface tension, which means that the molecules of the water, the parts of the water that we can't see with the naked eye are attracted to each other. It's kinda of like when you see a raindrop go down a window and it hits another raindrop, it makes a bigger raindrop. It's because they're attracted to each other. It's that high surface tension. And because of that high surface tension, it's hard to make bubbles just with water. So we need to lower the surface tension and loosen up those molecules. That's why we add the detergent. And then once we have the bubbles, then how do we make them last longer? Well, we want to keep the bubbles from drying out. So there's a couple things we can do. We can add something to the mix that adds moisture to the bubbles or something that is hygroscopic and then something that will protect those, that moisture in the bubbles, something that's an emollient. And then the thicker that emollient is, or the more viscosity that it has, the better that it works. So to do this, you can add sugar to your mix. Or if you have corn syrup, you can do that as well. And corn syrup is usually something found in the kitchen, so you can ask a grown-up to see if you have any. But sugar works just fine because corn syrup and sugar are both hygroscopic emollients that when added to your mix adds a significant amount of viscosity to make your bubbles last longer. Try this out. Try out three different solutions to see which one works the best. Try one with just water. Try another one with water, detergent, and sugar. And try one with water and sugar. I usually do about a half a teaspoon. And if you want to measure your ingredients a different way, you can put the measurement of the ingredient on a paper plate about the size of a quarter before you add the water. Find out the best combination and the best amounts that make your bubbles last the longest. We'd love to see the bubble cups they made. Post a photo or video on social media with the hashtag LearnWithLakeshore. I hope you enjoyed this learning at home video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning Channel to see more. Until next time, keep on learning. Keep watching our learning at home videos. Plus visit LakeshoreLearning.com for thousands of free resources.